Hello and good evening. It's Phil Thatch and I'm here tonight at a osprey nest just outside of the greater Chattanooga area. And the osprey come here and do their thing every year. Uh, and every year lots and lots of photographers from all around the region come and make photographs of this pair and they don't seem to be bothered by it at all. And so once again, for I don't know how many years in a row I've come to this spot, but once again, I'm here and making a little uh, video and a few photos of the osprey as they get this nest together. Heather's guarding my tripod for me. And what I'm using is the 500 F4 and the 1.4 teleconverter, the FTZ adapter and the Z6. I'm using that for, for video and as soon as I got set up, the, the male came and, and uh, landed on the female and they practiced uh, what they need to be doing soon before uh, he flew off again. And then I made a few stills of the female. And I also have the Z50 and an FTZ adapter on the 200 to 500. And I may try to capture some in-flight stuff with this setup. A couple of weeks ago, my Z50 fell off the car and I think Heather was trying to make sure that I didn't drop my Z6 and the 500 F4. I still can't believe how lucky I was that as soon as I got set up, the male flew in and made it with the female there on the nest. And I was really thrilled that I was able to uh, get video of that. And I was doing uh, 60 frames per second, so now I can play it back for you in 50% speed slow motion, which is kind of nice. Uh, I didn't have my focus set up. I, I had it to where it was continuously hunting because like I say, this was the very first shot. I prefer a single autofocus where I can set it and leave it at the nest, but that's not what I was doing for this very first shot. Here is a Z50 photograph with the 200 to 500 F5.6 of the female on the nest looking regal and majestic. And now back to Z6 video. All of the wildlife video in this video is Z6 and all of the photographs are Z50. Here is another Z50 photograph of the female. She never left the nest the entire time that we were there. And more Z6 video. I was going back and forth between FX mode and DX mode on the Z6 which is a really nice feature to get you a little bit closer to the wildlife with the full frame camera. And here is another Z50 photograph of the female on the nest. And the trend continues. Now we're going back to some more Z6 video of the female on the nest. This is Z50 uh, in-flight photography. The Z50 can catch a bird in flight. I didn't like the light on this one that much, but it was cool to do some of my very first birds in flight photography with the Z50. And here is a Canada goose taking off and you can see the water splashing into the air. It takes uh, quite a bit for a Canada goose to get airborne, but once they're up, they can really fly well. And more video. This is FX mode. You can see I'm a little bit further back without moving the camera at all. And here's a couple more Canada geese. This is an interesting picture because they seem to be the same distance from me. Maybe it's an optical illusion, but the front bird is really nice and in focus and the back bird is not. Now this is 4K video from so, so far away. We couldn't even really tell what these were, but it turns out that these are American white pelicans and there's another osprey nest way, way across the lake or river from where we were. And I kept hearing belted kingfisher and I did manage to get a small in the frame photograph of this female belted kingfisher. There's our female osprey on the nest once again, still looking majestic. And then a little bit later as the sun started to go down, we got some nice golden hour light and the male came back and uh, they kind of, uh, aren't talking very much right now, but uh, they are hanging out together on the nest, which was nice to see. And I never did see him bring a fish in, uh, but maybe he did sometime while I wasn't there. 
And then uh, Heather got to looking around and she spotted this American bald eagle adult way, way, way far away in this tree. But I did get some video of it before uh, it flew off. And then we met a friend at the area. This stray dog, I don't know if it was a stray, it didn't have a collar, but it was beautiful. It had really beautiful eyes. Uh, very sweet female. And uh, I visited with her some. And before I say my goodbyes, I'll play the mating clip one more time because that's definitely the highlight of this video. And there it is one last time. Okay, well, I've had a great time. Been hanging out up here with Heather at the uh, semi-famous East Tennessee easily accessible osprey nest. And uh, we saw all sorts of stuff. I'm going to I'm sure you've already seen the pictures and video, but it was, it was a, it was a fun day or a fun afternoon, kind of losing the light now, and uh, you know nothing spectacular, but uh, we did see uh, Heather spotted a bald eagle that I made some video of from so so far away. You've probably already seen all of that, and uh, just all sorts of other stuff that you've already seen. So I'm not going to describe it all, but I appreciate you watching, and. Uh, Hope you have a great day, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Oh, look at this. Here's my little friend. Met a little friend here, and uh, she's just as sweet as can be. Bye-bye.